Hey guys, my name is Mufasa and today I'm going to be creating a cake to celebrate the birth of Simba. You guys, this is the first gender reveal ever. In history, like ever. This cake is epic. I love the way this cake turned out. I loved playing with all the miniatures. I love just setting it up. So let's get started. Hey. Shout out to the real MVP of this video. Sand nice for providing the fondant. You need a lot of fondant to create rocks, you guys. You need a lot of fondant to create rocks. And it was given to me for free. Can you believe it? Let's create this cake. I am using a whole bunch of chocolate cake. We got a 10 inch. We got an eight inch. We got a six inch and a five inch. Just stacking them with buttercream in between and it doesn't look too stable. I don't know, the bottom cake it kind of looks like it was crumbling. It didn't feel like it was crumbling when I was carving it. But looking at the footage right now, yo, this looks like it's gonna fall. It was very wiggly though because it was super hot when I was making this. It jiggles like Santa Claus's belly. Now I decided that I wanted to create the Pride Rock from the animated movie. And the reason for that was because it is like number one in my heart. I gave this baby a crumb coat because it was a little too jiggly for me. Um, and I just placed it in the fridge to allow the icing to set up and then I went back and started carving it again Especially because the top of this cake is very thin. I wanted to make sure that it didn't fall apart So I started to carve it again then gave it another crumb coat and placed it back into the fridge Now while this was in the fridge, I started to watch the animated Lion King movie the Lion King really does have like this very special place in my heart my cousins would come over and we would all pretend to be different animals and we would play the Lion King soundtrack and we would just use my couch to reenact Simba's birth. And as soon as the circle of life would come on for a moment, we weren't a group of kids in our pajamas crawling on a couch. We were African animals debuting the new print. It was epic, it was bomb, we loved it, greatest time of our entire lives. I did that so much when I was little and I just had the best memories. My cousins and I were really close back then and we're still close now. And a lot of that play, a lot of that time spent together were kind of the ties that binded us. Let's create the front features for Pride Rock. I'm just using some Rice Krispies treats. I'm covering it with some very ugly gray colored rock colored fondant like pride rock colored fondant and just adding some scratchy detail. I'm using a lot of things, fondant tools, some scrunched up parchment paper. I didn't think about this too much because you don't really have to when you're creating a rock shape. And usually when you're working with fondant, you're worried about it cracking, you're worried about how much texture is it supposed to be smooth. But because this was supposed to be a rock, I just let all of that just slide and it just kept all of it. After I added on all of the texture, I started to paint. And I'm just using a little bit of black food coloring that I diluted with some magic sauce just to get into all of the cracks and crevices. Now it was a little too shiny, so covering the entire cake with some black luster dust and a little bit of powdered sugar. <laughs> it made it look really dusty, like a real rock. I painted on the opening and started to assemble my scene. Now I didn't use my PVC pipe structure for this cake because I knew I was gonna take it off the cake board, place it onto a very small piece of cardboard and use miniatures to recreate the scene of Simba's birth. Even bought some miniature trees, look at that. Playing with all of these miniatures and putting them into place to make it look like they were viewing the birth of a future king was bomb. I placed on Sarabi, Mufasa, and my extremely tiny Rafiki, holding baby Simba, and voila, my pride rock cake was complete. That is incredible, right? I'm, I'm not even... I'm not even exaggerating. This scene looks epic. One of the hardest things about this cake was creating the Rafiki holding the baby Simba. I couldn't find a toy that was this big of Rafiki holding Simba. So I had to mold and shape it out of epoxy clay and then paint it with acrylic. It was this whole thing, you guys. It took so long, but it was worth it. Now, after I finished shooting the sequence, I kind of 
felt like something was missing, like more people would have been in attendance. Creatures not just from Africa would come. Everyone from far and wide, even from Wakanda. And last but definitely not least, the king of all creatures, Rexy. That's my favorite part right there. Just making the mouth move on Rexy. Oh God, shooting that was so much fun. And voila, the birth of Simba was complete. Oh gosh. It looks so epic with all of these creatures. Now I am extremely excited to see the live action movie. I'm curious, who else do you think was in attendance at Simba's birth? Did I leave anyone out? Was I missing someone? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!